think that they will have uh, they will have it going their way here as already the countdown has begun to get into the pistol, guys. Five seconds left, and we'll be seeing exactly what KPV have in store for us here on their CT side of cash. Well, uh, I'm really intrigued to see how they set up here because, you know, we know Virtus Pro. That, well, we know how they like to play their pistol rounds. They're going to go in. They're going to be aggressive. You know, they're just going to wolf pack it. That's what I'm wondering. You know, we saw that on Nuke, but now I think, you know, VP are going to have to respect uh, KPV a little bit more. So are they just going to go for the straight up YOLO rush? Well, and, uh, we'll, well see. I mean, Pasha's just heading straight to squeak. That's I mean, what I mean. It's looking, it's looking that way. I mean, they are slowing down the pace a little bit, but this is definitely going to be designed to just swarm. Yep. They're, they're in real close proximity, grouping up here. And uh, they're going to be pushing on at the same bomb site very soon, I think. Uh, the flashes and smokes are coming in. I think it's only going to delay the inevitable. And here it comes. Here's the push. Skrunk is going to get that first kill on the snacks. And three man wasn't able to really make his good position count. In the meantime, Pasha and Neo have got two kills, which is going to open up this bomb site. The business bomb is going to go down. Planted by Taz. And uh, you can see Virtus Pro. That uh, aggressive push just perfectly timed. Otto sneaking through, going to get challenged here. He's able to get the kill on the Neo, though, which is going to give him a bit of breathing room. Taz, though, with a great headshot, just wrecking Jensen and Johnny at distance. And Pasha Biceps get the final kill. And much like the first map, Virtus Pro take the T-Pistol. Yeah, they're able to roll right into that site. You know, it was there was defense there. At least sometimes you do have teams that focus a little bit more on mid that they would expect to, to be having to deal with a kind of push to control mid and then have to deal with the T-Side trying to move from there. But KPV, they had two guys locked onto that A-Site early on and they still weren't able to land those crucial shots. They only got one frag out of it, I think. So, bit bumpy there for a start on KPV and now they're going for a bit of a gamble. They're stacking the B-Site and this could work out perfectly for them. I mean, Otto's already in checkered. He's going to spot all the movement and he's going to spot the bomb as well and they're not showing themselves on the site. And you can see a double P90 coming in here uh, which you don't see every day. Bialy and Neo have got it and then Johnny and Three Man have absolutely decimated them. They're going to be able to get these SMGs. Taz is trying to work his AK distance. Johnny's going to get a kill and this is a perfect eco, is it? And Snacks with a double kill with that Mac 10 and all of a sudden it's in a 1v1 and his snack saved Virtus Pro's bacon again. It's looking increasingly likely. He's gonna go and he is gonna do it. Every time Virtus Pro get in a hole, it seems to be either Snacks or Bialy that are digging him out right now. Man, and Snacks that time is the one who's, uh, who's puffing out his cheeks going, okay then, this is a bit close, this is a bit too close. But that, I mean, smack, Snacks, when things play out, the way that he wants them to, as far as like in his mind, you can tell he already nailed the guy on the site, instantly whips around, takes the man out from heaven, and then just locks down the remaining member of my KPV. I mean, that looked really promising from KPV. They've got to be feeling they a bit frustrated. Oh, they should have absolutely had that eco. I mean, it's a great eco, but they should have won that round. And you can see uh, pa Pasha comes in and gets that first kill while Bialy takes down a nade kill. And again, it's the same strat here from Virtus Pro. Uh, despite that last round being cut incredibly close, that one a bit more textbook. So. Mm -hmm. uh, that time around, they were able to just at least spot the defense early, and then they they just grouped up and stuck together VP. So even if there was a stack, even if there were players on that site, whenever they peaked, they'd be peaking at two guys, three guys, and VP. You know, you may get one, but you're not going to get all of them in that yeah. situation. You don't have CZs anymore. So double orb set up here for my KPV, and of course we've not seen them play on. Uh, cash before so I'm gonna be intrigued to see how they do here Johnny gets flashed out and has to drop back so he doesn't get a kill but look at Jensen pushing aggressively into that yard area and gets the kill on Pasha and then gets one on the snacks as well they're just shutting on down Johnny right with a great quick scope there on the Neo and that's the bomb down Taz tries to commit for it scrunk and rotate with that old boom see you later Taz so that was really solid defense from my KPV. Holy hell, and they landed the shots when they needed to. I mean, Johnny in particular, those were some six frags from him on that B site. Skrunk rotated in quickly, excuse me there. Rotated in quickly as well with his AWP, and they were able to just set up a perfect crossfire to stop VP cold. Now VP are the ones who are going to be trying to force up here. They're spending all of their money trying to get equipped. Posh has got his AWP. He knows now that Johnny likes to peek early, so he's going to get into position, but he doesn't manage to land that shot there. No, and that might have been important, obviously, getting those old picks. We know on a map like Cash, it can be hugely important, especially if you want to shut down the CTs, uh, which can have so much control if you've got an AWP hitting his shots. So, Pash will be a little bit frustrated he didn't land that, but Virtus Pro are in the lead, of course, and, you know, they are the favourites still. Oh, certainly. You can't let uh, little moments like that get in their heads. I mean, Pash has been doing 
uh, really well right here at the start of this map. So it's all gone a little bit slow here from Virtus Pro. Smoke's being deployed just to delay those pushes. You can hear the, the hissing as the fire gets put out as well. Three Man's going to put down another smoke, and he's going to get uh, flame down, flame on. The human torch is here. Three Man's going to uh, lob uh, some fire of his own down. It's like a Magic the Gathering game here. All the elements. Ta yeah, tap mountains, tap mountains. Um, I mean, this is actually still, I mean, you do have Snacks just kind of rotating back just to make sure that nobody's pushed in from B. But now VP, I mean, they're going to be going for this A site. This is it. They're going to be committed. And Jensen's already alive here at Forklift. He's going to be able to spot the man out getting onto the left side. But he sees more players moving in through A. He does manage to take one. Three man's covering his back. Takes out Snacks. And now it's just going to be Neo quickly overwhelmed. Very nice hold, a perfect hold coming in for KPB. Yeah, that was again just great defense from them. It looked like they might be getting overwhelmed. Virtus Pro, though, they were locked in, committed to the push onto that A bomb site, which is great positioning from my KPB. Some excellent crossfires, and they just shut them down before they could even really do anything, Virtus Pro. So, again, my KPB showing that they are capable opponents here. Yeah, and this is the tricky part about. Uh, this play here for VP, or at least this best of three, right? Because KPE, and this is the this is what you have to deal with if you're the favored team. Is the other team is going to have plenty of material to go over to figure out your game. Oh, of They're going to have all of the opportunity to do their homework, figure out how you want to play these maps, and basically, you know, play to that, use that to their advantage. Whereas a team like VP aren't going to be able to find as much information on KPV. So VP are pretty much learning as they go right now as to how KPV wants to play this game. And uh, really straightforward eco round there for my KPV to tie it up at three all. So what Pro is probably going to do here. So it looks like they're going to be going. I mean, man, if Johnny keeps shouting like that, his head's going to burst. <laughs> Seriously, wants to be careful. Can we get a blood pressure monitor brought in? Yeah, we him? need that heart rate monitor. I think Dennis needs to provide adequate medical uh, facilities. We need to monitor that situation. But yeah, he is absolutely jacked, and rightly so, man. Top of the scoreboard in that uh, last game for his team. So, uh, small man, big performance. Uh, three all at the moment. And uh, Virtus Pro with this uh, five rifle setup they've got are going to run into some orps here. And Skrunk wasn't able to get that kill. He was flashed out. Taz is going to get a kill on the Ensign. And Skrunk peaks and at just at the wrong moment because Taz is going to make that the second kill. Look at Taz. He's on the hunt. Make that a third kill from him. Great round so far from the veteran. Reading this My KPV defense like a book. And Pasha gets that one. Johnny's going to hightail it out of there and save this orp. And this is the right call here to make from Johnny. That happened way too quick. VP were able to just swarm Taz with two sick entries. He gets three total. I mean, Taz pretty much walks out onto that site and kills the entire defensive force by himself. So that was a big play there from Taz. Huge round from him to get that for VP. But VP also, you know, they are playing that wolf pack mode right now, man. They are just going in together as a group, yep. and they go crashing through smoke. Doesn't matter if there's a smoke down. They've got the flashes to give them that split second that they need to get through and to get those frags. So... Big round from Taz, really, just managing to step it up there. And Johnny making the right call, just holding on to that AWP. Sure, he's got the money to buy a new one, but you want to just save everything you can, basically. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, money vitally important, especially if they want to do this dual op setup, which they've got the money to do. If they decide to do it again, they're not going to do it this time. I think that's probably sensible. Uh, and, you know, Johnny's going to work. Uh, be in a good position to, you know, lead the defense for his team. But Virtus Pro are 4-3 up here, and... Let's see what they're going to pull out of the bag again. They're heading towards that A site, are they? It looks like they're grouping up actually kind of in the middle of the map. So they have got options. Ah, they're doing the boost here over the top. And uh, they're going to come over the top of this canvas here. This is Wait for the flash. Exactly. There's two of them that are going to be rushing up here. So this mm. is aggression coming from VP. If one of them gets picked off by an AWP, the second man through is the one to pick up the refrag. And Jensen is currently here to take a peek at this. Holding from short, there's a little bit of the pop flash just going to come around that corner. Catches Taz, perfect play, and he does manage to back off as well. Solid work here from Jensen holding mid. Yeah, and again, that's just great. Have the wherewithal to get the kill and drop back. You see so many people get greedy, go for seconds at the buffet, mm -hmm. and you know what happens <laughs> when you do that. Uh, so Jensen dropping back is the smart thing to do. And you can see it's kind of took the wind out of Virtus Pro sales a little bit. They're thinking, well, what do we do now? Uh, 
with one less wolf in that particular pack. So Virtus Pro are hoping for a pick here. They're playing real casual, but with 30 seconds coming up on the clock, they're going to have to commit to a bomb site. Looks like they're going to be heading towards that B area. You can see Johnny has uh, dropped down. He's on that site with the orb. Should be perfectly poised here, provided he doesn't get blind and actually gets pushed off. And Neo times that push to perfection, gets two kills as a result of it. Bialy killing Otto just before him. So it's a two on three situation. Make that a three on one now in favor of Virtus Pro. Neo gets that kill there. Three man is going to push through the vents. He is able to get down Neo, but I don't think he's going to go for it, is he? Well, maybe he should now. He took Pasha to half oh. HP and it, yeah, just misses it on the repeat. Yeah, he was just a half second too late there. If he'd have been a little bit faster, he could have stopped Pasha from getting into CT. Now he has to worry about his back, but he's going to take out Bialy. Oh, this wow. is now a winnable situation here for three man. Oh, wow. And he's just going to go. Pros don't fake, but he does. And oh, Pasha's going to do it. What? And that's what happens. He should have got that. Three man. Ah, that was a close one there. If he could have just taken Pasha. Dude. <sighs> well, there you have it, man. I mean, VP That's man, always when it comes to those clutch that, though, because, you know, he did everything right there. He takes him down to half HP, he uses the fire to push him back, gets into the area, reads the position perfectly, gets the, gets the harder kill, and then the guy who's on low HP, he just fluffs his lines and it's just so, so upsetting for a team like my KPV when those little moments don't come off for them. Yeah, especially because they know that they're going to be, if, you know, they've got to be thinking, okay, we land these shots normally, so now we need to be hitting them in the big game and they just aren't able to connect. Uh, three man's the last man here on this A site. Rotation is coming in from his teammates, but he's going to have to play quad boxes pretty, uh, pretty carefully here. Neo's going to spot the gun barrel though. Neo just dropping on him perfectly there. And a perfect take for A-side on the uh, History side. repeating here. Johnny, the last man standing with the AWP again. This time, though, Virtus Pro have the numbers to try and hunt him down. So he's going to get one kill on Neo. He's having a little peek here. Misses the second one. Bialy was close and takes him down. Virtus Pro looking good right now at six rounds to three. And uh, if you look at the money situation for my KPV, this eco is going to come in. And Virtus Pro will be looking at 7-3 should they win this round. Yeah. And they, I mean, this pretty much going according to plan. They will win this round. I mean, unless VP, I mean, unless VP walk into a stack again, this should be going KPV's way. So let's see exactly how things pan out here. Neo blinded. They are just both blinded. In fact, that's great aggression coming out here. But now Neo has to keep his cool, just controlling the spray. But it's not going to be good enough. He will get overwhelmed. Now it's Taz trying to look for the flank to box these guys in. Needs some support from his mates, though, if he's going to make this happen. They have guns to play with now, and there's the shot oh, from Jensen. Oh, and Taz will be disappointed with that. Probably should have had a kill in that situation. All of a sudden, it's four on two, so the Seco round, they're not going quietly into that good night, my KPV. And uh, Pasha's going to see what he can do about things. Uh, the, uh, the popular player picks up two kills there. Takes down Jensen, makes it a one on two. Again, still got a lot to do. And uh, misses that shot there, but has got the bomb now. 45 seconds coming up on the clock. He's got time to play with. So, Pasha rotating around. He's in the middle of the map, but he's heading towards that B bomb site, going through the upper area. And uh, is he going to find that nobody's home? Well, actually, he finds Skrunk and gets the kill. And he's got a good inkling that the other player, three man with the orb, has to be at covering the other bomb site. So he's going to go straight in for the plan, and he's going to get it. He's going to put down fire, but he's put it in the wrong entrance. But he's looking at the right one. And there's the shoulder peek, and he's going to get the kill. And that is just a brilliant clutch from Pasha. Again. 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 It's Pasha who comes through for VP to keep them off of the ropes. Again, in a round where KPV managed to do so much damage, I mean, Pasha just comes back 1v3. I gotta say, dude, you know, a 1v3 clutch, uh, even if it was an eco round, by that point, of course, they had guns, you know, it was really hard to do. But what it's amazed me is how relaxed Pasha has looked this tournament. I mean, he barely looks like he's playing game of Counter-Strike at all. Hell, for the first map, when he went 10-0 up, he was on his phone for most of it. The guy is just in the zone right now, just that, that little zen center of calm. And when he is, he's able to just execute brilliant plays like that. So, great play by him. And Johnny's been taken out on this B site already. Neo just trying to sow some confusion in the ranks. We do have a bit of a firefight happening over on that A site. However, the bomb will get dropped. Jensen stopping it from short. And Pasha, he's only got 14 HP this time, so taking a fight is going to be really tough for him. He needs to wait for his teammate to rotate in. Neo's going to catch Jensen out on short, but he can't get the job done. Jensen lands the shot first. 
So again, look what's happening. It's Pasha in a 1v3. So, a bit of a harder clutch this to make. It is a full buy round and uh, Jensen shuts him down and says, there'll be no more of that nonsense. So, uh, well played by him, but Vertus Pro still in a very commanding position. We know that picking up the T rounds on cash can be hard, uh, but not for a team like Vertus Pro who know this map inside out. Now they, I mean, this is one of their strongest maps in the pool. We've seen them do magical things on it. So, you know, KPB, I mean, as far as the, when we talked about the band pick and how things panned out, this is definitely three maps that should be favoring VP. I mean, VP currently up 1-0 in this best of three as well, having one nuke already. But Cash is the second map and Mirage the third. So these are all strong maps for VP, and they should be able to come out ahead like this in the, on their T side. I mean, nuke went 10 rounds in a row for VP before my KPB were able to wake up and put a stop to it. Well, Scrimp's going to get that uh, early kill on Bialy, and they'll be good. They're glad to see the back of him. Otto's going to get the kill on Taz as well. So, so far, Vertus Pro getting shut down here. They're just popping. And then, what happens? Just a flurry of kills. Snacks, Pasha, and Neo just coming up big. And Johnny's saying, wait a minute, where did all my friends go? Again. They're dead, Johnny. That's where they are. They're dead. So Johnny's on the rotate with an AWP. I mean, they're super low. Snacks, though, just going to get the kill and just wow from Virtus Pro. Yeah. Again, that wolf pack aggression, man. They just go rushing onto a site and actually make it work. I mean, what are you going to do in that scenario? And Johnny, again, you know, that's the thing. He loses all of his teammates, and then at that point, he probably should have been backing off to save, but he also needs the rounds. And he might have been told by his mates that they're all very low right now. So if he can get in there and get a quick pick, then turns it into a 1v2 and things can get out of control there. But now look at this. Again, KPV going for the aggression in B Hall is hoping to catch somebody off guard, but nobody is here. Actually, they could catch Snacks with a bomb out, and he is with a nade in hand. And he got caught with his trousers down, but uh, they didn't spank him too hard. He's only down to 42 HP. In the meantime, Jensen, though, gets a pick on a Neo, so that's going to be a kill and a gun. And look at Skrunk here from behind with a double kill. Bialy and Pasha, though, answer back. It's a 2 on 2 situation. Have Jensen and Otto been able to secure guns? Well, Jensen has. He's got an AK now, and he's coming towards Vertus Pro. In the meantime, the bomb is ticking, and you see Otto here. He's just uh, playing for time. Trying to take Pasha down. Pasha though is having none of that and gets the kill and then Bialy gets the kill. So solid eco round from my KPV and I gotta say, I think they've done good on eco rounds as a whole as a team, but weren't able to really capitalize on a good start there. No, they're taking I mean they they're doing what they have to do basically right now, which is take risks. They have yeah. to try and catch VP off guard. Because when they're playing standard, I mean even VP, they just go running right onto sites and manage to clean them up. So KPV are trying to throw VP off by just going for this all out aggression and getting into their face and T spawn, that sort of thing. It's just that VP also managed to keep their cool. They get that bomb down, and at that point, you know, the, that element of surprise isn't going to be as powerful for VP, or rather for my KPV. So now it's just about basically VP keeping their cool here and preparing for this last round of the half. My KPV have practically hardy go to make sure that they have the guns that they'll need. Taz finds the headshot on Jensen and Pasha. Will take out Johnny as well. Yeah, and it's just easy. This is, this is a deathmatch round right here. You can see they're just training their crosshair. No real conviction in the strap from my KPV. Skrunk going for a jump in kill on the Taz. Didn't come off. Taz gets the double and a clean round that time for Virtus Pro to take it to 10 rounds to four. Is there enough? There's not enough for an AWP on KPV. So Johnny, Skrunk, two, two players who have been getting frags with the sniper rifle. They aren't going to get that opportunity again. We're looking at a repeat performance here from Nuke, basically. KPV, despite being able to come into it a bit earlier and pick up, you know, three rounds at the beginning of the half, it does look like if they were to pick up this last round, it's going to be the same scoreline as on Nuke. KPV, only five rounds on the board, but Otto interested in turning things around. He catches Bialy. That's actually the bomb now. KPV see that they have bomb control. Yeah, and they should be able to swarm all over that and just keep it down and stop Virtus Pro from getting to it. So yeah, this, like this changes the complexion of the round quite a lot. Virtus Pro, a man down. The bomb is down and they're going to have to go and get it. Yeah, they're going to have to go and get it, but look at how KPV decide to approach the situation. Wow. Manage, we know where the bomb is, so we know at least where the, some movement is going to be from VP. So they decide to fall back to the sites and play it standard and just play a regular round from well, what, here. What do you think of that as a move, though? I actually don't mind it. I mean, you've got the man advantage. You still have nades on your side. If you stick to your game plan and play your, your game versus a man advantage scenario, you should be able to come out ahead at CT side. And that's what KPV are thinking right now. It's just like, okay, we're going to focus on playing our game. We're not going to let the bomb... Like, throw, throw in any, any kind of weird into it, because VP, it seems like they thrive in those weird situations. I mean, Pasha has wrecked them repeatedly in those kinds of scenarios. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I, I think I would have tried to 
limit the options of Virtus Pro, given that they know this map so well. But we'll see if this move from my KPB pays off. So far it isn't because Taz has picked up uh, a double kill there. Well, with the help from Skrunk and make that a triple kill for him. So he's coming up big right here, right at the end of this half. And the bomb is planted. So my KPV obviously have to go for this one. It's a two on four situation. Jensen's going to get that first kill and remove that pesky Taz from the round. And now Otto's going to get another one. So all of a sudden it's a two on two. And you can see Snacks is low. Wasn't able to hit the shot there. But Neo has got his back. The perfect wingman. Uh, and gets a kill onto Otto. So Jensen with it all to do. Time running out. Neo's going to get that last kill. And in the end, the, the decision to play their game didn't work out for them. 11-4 at halftime. Yeah, it really didn't. I mean, that's, yeah, that's not how things are supposed to go, right? Especially when you're roasting alive, pretty much. I mean, VP just kind of went for their, their standard wolf pack take. I mean, Molotov's everywhere, smoke's everywhere, just cutting up that site. And uh, once again, Taz walks in and just dominates. That's the thing. When Taz gets his game on, too, you know, you're not supposed to be, or I mean, Taz isn't supposed to be the point man necessarily, or he's no. supposed to be the fodder. He's yeah. supposed to be like fed into the thresher, you know, <laughs> basically. I'm sure he'll love that. I, so that's the no, thing. He yeah. will say that. That's that's his role on VP is like first man in, get the info, and then it's up to like Biali, it's up to yeah. Pasha to come in then and clean up, right? Just like Freiburg for Nip. And um, the Taz, human sacrifice. Yeah, human sacrifice if you're the entry fragger sometimes, right? You just get in there and, you know, just try and make something happen. But again, A site, Taz is showing that, he, you know, he will come out ahead. Well, you know, some great things are built on human sacrifice, aren't they? Like the American government, for example. I was expecting like the Mayans or something, but okay. Yeah. Well, okay, well, the Illuminati too. then, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just we'll we'll, we'll 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 annoy the Americans with the cast today. I think. What is happening here? I mean, Snacks is just hiding in the smoke right now. They have no idea that he's here. They're running right past him. Snacks is gonna let him get out. And the bomb has been planted, despite the fact that uh, two members have been picked up from KPV. Pasha just doing Pasha things right now, running out into the open. He doesn't give, he doesn't just care, man. He's like, okay, whatever, I'll take this fight. Neo is here as well. He's gonna hunt down Otto, but Otto catches him first. Now it's down to Pasha, who's Great gonna get picked off. Great play from Otto. Oh, this nade though, money oh. nade. Catch. And oh. snacks. Who else? But not gonna be able to get the defuse though. No, so my KPV time. are going to take that round and make it 11-5. So the answer right back with a T-Pistol round of their own. We're not going to see history repeat itself, are we, Sam? Are we it's not going to happen. No, it can't. All over again. It can't. I mean, VP are looking for quick, easy rounds here. They want to be able to get rid of it. I'm just surprised that they weren't able to actually pick up the frags when they needed to. They had five members alive for VP. Five members alive at going into a retake, and KPV still managed to hold. I mean, just really well played there by KPV. If Snacks could have been in just a couple seconds earlier, that could have made all the difference, but he had to run all the way over from the other side of the map. I'm really surprised at Snacks as well, just sitting in that smoke. Mm. So uh, we, we had a brief pause there. Do you know what that was for? Maybe just needed to, to re-log real quick. Yeah. Um. Uh, Snacks is going to go for the Nova. Okay. Positioning on his side. Well, yeah, but it's not nasty. It's it's a good call as well because obviously if you get that extra money with that and you you know you win this round. Uh, well, especially when you're playing B, right? You can get yeah. up in close quarters like this and exactly. checkered. If they try and run into this room, then he's there to take your head off. Basically, Neo is there to tell him if anybody is rushing in. I mean, this could be a good opportunity, except that KPV are setting up for the A site right now. So he isn't really going to get the opportunity to shine there, Snacks. That door. It squeaks even though it's not moving. It's, it's, it's a ghost door. Should make it so you can buy oil in the game. Put it on the hinges <laughs> before you squeak. rush out of there. Yeah. Skrunk and three man are gonna get the kill here. So, so far, so good for my KPV. They're not uh, falling into any Polish traps as that Virtus Pro have tried to set. But of course, Neo still has that scout and Snack still has that shotgun. So let's see how that goes. Well, Otto wow. says, enough is enough, Neo. That is a great shot by Otto. Holy yeah. hell. And now Snacks is just going to try and play for some exit kills. And if he's yes. able to get them, it's big, big money. $900 uh, a kill. That's easy shot to hit. Uh, Snacks is just trying to hold on to his, uh, his Nova. He's made the investment. If he can live through the next round, that wouldn't be too bad. Johnny's hunting for him, though. And Snacks 
Okay, I thought that Johnny was actually going to come around the corner then. He's going to get the kill. And they find Pasha as well. So no saving anything here for VP. Very clean play coming out from KPV, making well, sure yeah. VP can't hold on to anything going into the next round. Very clinical as well. You know, they uh, made sure that they didn't keep any weapons. Also made sure they didn't give away any silly kills. Mm -hmm. Help boost that economy. So now we're just going to see this full eco uh, from Virtus Pro. No nades, no flashes, no anything. Uh, and this should be another round on the board for my KPV. Right. Or key price for Gleish. For Gleish. I have no idea how to pronounce it, man. Uh, it, yeah, it, it, it is that. I just don't want to say it because it's a bit of a mouthful in the heat of the moment, you know? Okay. Exactly is happening here. Have they realized that two players are in here? I mean, Taz is going to get the headshot there. Bialy got one as well, but now Taz has got a gun to work with. He's going to get smoked off, however, at the door, so it's going to be a bit tough. He does have a little bit of an angle to look through, however, so he's got to be a bit careful here. KPV can see it as well. Yeah, and giving away a few silly kills here, and Otto's incredibly low, so... And uh, they've got guns now, Virtus Pro, and we know what they can do with guns. They can definitely out-aim my KPV, but uh, Otto's going to take down Taz despite being low HP. But Neo's going to make that AK do some work. Jensen's going to answer back. Uh, Snacks. I think he ran out of bullets. Yeah, I th you're right. Yeah, he's got no more he's bullets. He's got no bullets, so... <laughs> And it's really annoying because look how low Otto and Jensen are. He's actually going to have to run around through to A main, pick up Neo's gun, maybe? I, I guess. Oh, he's got to be insanely frustrated right now. He's, go, he's going to have to do something. You're just hearing click, 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 click. And they're so low as well. All these seconds times wasted. Like this, you should have the option to throw your knife. <laughs> go for COD. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's what you need, throwing knives. Well, he has got a pistol now. Oh, and an AK. And he's got the time uh, here. Oh, no, he's going to back off. All of that time wasted. All yeah. of that time wasted because he ran out of bullets. He needed to get a quick kill there. He could have still done it if he got a quick kill. But it really, better to save the uh, AK. And it's frustrating, though. Um, again, that could have been a winnable round, especially the way Snacks has been playing. I'm actually kind of surprised that Benson, or that Jensen, rather, was so... Um was so exposed when Otto, who was up on Sky, should have been being able to listen in, basically, and yeah. hear where Snacks was coming from. And yet... Jensen did was like, I mean, there was an opportunity there for Snacks, is what I'm trying to say. That was a bit too close. And it's interesting because Pasha was just laughing at that. He wasn't even, he was actually laughing at his teammate having no bullets. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the, that's the crazy team that Virtus Pro are, you know? It's like Pasha doesn't have to worry about that, man. His, his biceps are infinite. That's the thing. Well, yeah, he can just punch people to death. Th that's what's going to happen. The next patch, Pasha's uh, just going to be able to not use guns to kill people. Oh, you got to balance it somehow, right? But, yeah. It's just OP otherwise. But so far, uh, my KPV have had a very good uh, second half. You know, they've overcome all the hurdles to take it 11-7 in favor of Virtus Pro from 11-4 at half time. So if they can take this round, we could be looking at another uh, barnstorming finish like we saw with Nuke. But... Virtus Pro definitely in the driving seat on the CT side here of Cash. And look at this from my KPV. They're going to go for a wolf pack of their own. Three man's going to get that entry kill, but Snacks is going to answer back with two kills uh, from the vent area. And he's backed right off, uh, but he hasn't lost any health at all. Bomb is down, but they know where Snacks is. They're spamming him. Is he going to be able to get out? He's done the little granny flash. He's going to get a nade, I think. But as he drops down, well, yeah, he's out. And he's going to get a third kill on a three-man. So he's having a great round here, Snacks. Bialy is going to get a kill of his own. And they should be able to finish this off and do. And here's the defuse for ah, Snacks. And Snacks even body blocks Taz. Make sure he can't get the defuse. Snacks wants it all, man. Three kills. Sick play from the vents. Great control. Making sure that KPV couldn't turn away from him either. They had to focus on checkered room, and that set it up so that Bialy or the other members of VP could have space to move coming in from CT and upper. Snacks is just, I mean, when Snacks is on his game, man, he just looks unstoppable. Like, this guy's a monster. As far as VP are concerned now, this is this is pretty much going to be the big round to determine it all. I mean, yeah. yeah, there's just no money left on KPV. If they were to lose this, buying up again, it's going to be a force. But Skrunk has picked up the first frag already. The question is, can they find Neo? They know that Neo's back behind the boxes. Otto going for the spray. And he's got the oh, HE, but Neo finds him first. Never go full spray. <laughs> never, go, <laughs> never go full spray, Todd. So Neo is going to get the kill there. And uh, it's 4 and 3, but Neo is low. He's got 21 HP. 
And uh, Jensen down to 35, so my KPV have got a low HP member of their own. You can see that they're going for the rotate here onto the A-bomb site, and Snacks is just shutting it down, and it's just absolute butchery here. Snacks <laughs> nearly ran out of bullets again, and uh, Bialy is going to get the kill. 13-7 to Virtus Pro, and they're looking a lot more comfortable now. And uh, my KPV, I think the fight might have just gone out of them. You can see Bialy laughing, Taz bored. Virtus Pro, this is going through the motions for them. At this point, yeah, now they've got Bank to worry about. Like, they don't have to worry about anything as well. They've got enough on the side. So it's KPV, Pistols. I mean, losing consecutive rounds like this certainly isn't helping them. Two in a row now for VP and KPV. They're starting to, they're starting to see that window for glory start to close here, yeah. man. It's swinging shut on them. You know, and, and what I will say is, though, this was a game that realistically my KPV probably is in the wildest dreams that were back in the hotel last night. You know, they wouldn't have thought we're going to beat Virtus Pro today. They wouldn't have thought they were going to take this many rounds across two maps. But you know what this does for them? It gives them this confidence for the next game, for the next tie. Because who's to say my KPV aren't the second best team in this group now? Who's to say? That's what they. That's what they'll be thinking about. So there are positives to take from this game as we go to 14-7. It's not over yet by any means. But uh, my KPV are going to have to pull out something fairly spectacular here. Uh, and maybe they're all out of spectacular for the day after that comeback on Nuke. Now oh, Penta is certainly going to have something to say about that. If it comes down to it. I'm not sure if that smoke exactly hit where he wanted it to. Well, yeah, but it, it really makes that game yeah. look interesting all of a sudden. Because, you know, you looked at the group on paper and you were like, well, it's Penta and Virtus, And then everyone else is just here for a holiday. You know, here for a bit of fun and a few beers. But all of a sudden, my KPV are like, nope, we're here to play. We want we want out of this group. Pasha picking up two kills there. And uh, it's a four on three, he but things peaking. looking a bit too easy. Yeah, Pasha just keeps on peeking. Again, just Pasha things. So my KPV uh, real low here. It's a three on two. You can see Neo's creeping around. He's about to bump into Jensen. It's all too easy. Jensen turns away. So Skrunk with 22 HP. Can he stop it going a match point? Probably not. Can have a look, and there's Neo just spraying him down. That is going to be match point for Virtus Pro, and I'm guessing the money isn't going to be too great right now for my KPV. No, it isn't. So that's like a combination of things. You know, bad luck on the timing for Neo to come around that corner, and all of a sudden they're just turning away from him. But also Pasha just peeking and repeeking and repeeking and repeeking and repeeking and repeeking and repeeking at mid. Did he? Did he repeek? Yeah, he was just like, I'll step out, okay. You know, and then you think, okay, he's going to rotate off, and then he steps out again, and then he steps out again. I think KPV are getting a little miffed with him there. But this is a force buy out of KPV, just spending everything uh, they've yeah, lost. Yeah, spend everything can. they've got. And look at it. It's just more meat for the barbecue, boys. Virtus Pro finishing style. 16-7. And i got to say, just to, again, to paraphrase Pasha, they know deserve for the wrecked. I, I, I don't think. You know, that I, I think my KPV didn't really deserve that kind of finish to a game because that first map was incredible. There was parts of that map that was incredible. But in the end, it was a bridge too far.